हेलो एवरीवन नाउ दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन टू अंडरस्टैंड द होल बेसिक्स ऑफ शेयर्स द एग्जांपल इज अ मैन इन्वेस्ट रुपीज नाइंटी सिक्स हंड्रेड एट रुपीज हंड्रेड शेयर एट रुपीज एटी द लैंग्वेज इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एज फार एज दिस टॉपिक ऑफ शेयर एंड डिविडेंड इज कंसर्न दिस टर्म इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ आई एम सेंग इन्वेस्ट or if i am saying a man purchases that means that he is purchasing or he is investing at the market value and not at the company value because once the shares are launched they cannot be relaunched again when we are talking about this statement rupees 100 shares at rupees 80 that means the face value of the share is rupees 100 when the company first sell the share he sold it for rupees 100 per share but now the market value of the share is rupees 80 as i already told you that if the dividend is more then it might be more but there are various factors on which it depends so in this case when he is investing rupees 9600 that means that he is purchasing the share for one share for rupees 80 and not for rupees 100 but definitely because the face value is rupees 100 then the company will pay the dividend on rupees 100 face value and not on rupees 80 now the first part is the number of shares he buys we know that the total investment is rupees 9600 and he purchased one share he purchased one share on the market value of rupees 80 so the total number of shares he purchased is equals to the total investment that is rupees 9600 upon the price of one share that is rupees 80 once we calculate this it comes out to be 120 so the number of shares he purchased or he buys is 120 now we are very clear that the face value or the company value of these 120 shares is 120 multiply by 100 and that is rupees 12000 while the market value on which this person invest is rupees 9600 now the b part is his total invest uh, dividend now he is investing rupees 9600 and purchase 120 shares for which the face value is 12000 the company will pay the dividend on the face value not on the market value because company is not concerned that what the market value is company is only concerned that how many how much money he has invested in the company if the face value is rupees 100 and there are 120 shares it means in the company initially any person has invested rupees 12000 and the person will get the dividend on rupees 12000 so the total dividend amount wise is equals to 18% of 12000 whatever is the company value or the face value when we calculate this it comes out to be rupees 2160 so the total dividend anybody receives is rupees 2160 now the third portion is his percentage returns on the shares again i told you that if the company is paying rupees 2160 the shareholder is also getting rupees 2160 but the company is calculating this 2160 on rupees 12000 while the person who has purchased the share is calculating this on rupees 9600 because his investment today is only rupees 9600 so the percentage return on the investment is rupees 2160 the dividend which he receives 
and this dividend is on the investment of rupees 9600 multiplied by 100 because the percentage return or the rate of return is always on percentage basis so once we calculate these two zeros this can be calculated if we cancel by 6 it is 360 again we cancel by 2 it comes out to be 180 again we calculate it by 2 it comes out to be 90 so it is 90 upon 4 or 22.5 percent now one thing is very very important that if the market value is less that the percentage received by the shareholder is more than the company provides while if the market value is more than the face value then the percentage return is less than the company provides so this is a very basic example of shares and dividend in the next topic uh, class we will discuss about more examples based on this but the language is the most important aspect in shares and dividend thank you